The worst case scenario, what to do if you have to fire someone? We all know that the worst thing that you can do as a manager is to fire employees. And it's a very critical and sometimes it's quite destructive and devastating as an action because we always try to think of uh, not just the employee himself, but his family and his needs in terms of finance, in terms of a sense of belonging, etc. So it's, this is why it is a very sensitive and could be a devastating action. And it is something that would make, obviously, any business owner quite anxious because saying you're fired is really not an easy task. So before you fire an employee, here are the best things that you can actually do. First, determine what is the exact problem and try to see the different opinions of the persons involved in the problem. Because sometimes the worst thing to do is to fire an employee without hearing his version of the story. And then it turns out that he was not really as guilty as we thought him to be. So, so determine the right and the exact problem. problem. Uh, then consider a probationary period to allow the employee to correct the issue. And here what you can do is actually once that probationary period is done, you can start working on a warning system. So if the employee does the same mistake again, you can go ahead and give them an official warning and then a second official warning and at the third warning, you can actually fire them. But at least they would be prepared for that instead of just taken by surprise just because they did something wrong. Now document poor performance to ensure there is supporting evidence for the firing. It's very important because you need to consider also all legal and operational issues that could result from your action. So you have to make sure that whatever you do, you are in line with the law in your country. Whenever someone, for instance, you fire someone and they file a suit, you have to be in the right position for you to be able to fight back whenever that happens. And obviously ensure that you have the support of HR and of your management team to take that decision. So Funky Furniture Retailer, the one, was ranked fourth in best places to work for in the UAE because they actually engage and motivate their people high enough and long enough for them to be able to be happy employees, which definitely brings them happy customers the whole time, because then those employees have a great customer service that everybody talks about. The next exercise is try to think of an employee issue that you might have occurred in your organization. So try to think of something or a problem that is occurring or that might have occurred, and then document the conduct or performance issue by stating the following. First, who had the issue? What, exact, what happened exactly? Where did it occur? When did it occur? And how did this issue come up? And also try to see how it was solved to see if once you have understood all of those questions, if it has been solved in the best ways, or if there would have been a better way to actually solve it. 